Welcome back. You're watching the Independent Republican Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Now it's time for taking the mic. Here we go again. We're not even out of the first month of 2024 and the scare stories have already started. And if you thought those green nutters from the environment lobby had gone into hibernation because of the cold snap, you'd be wrong. Because now they're back. And they're more deranged than ever. Last year, we had the confirmation that net zero was nothing more than a politically expedient policy to impress the global elites and make the European Union love us again. When Rishi Sunak saw that people didn't want to pay to save the planet, he decided maybe it wasn't such a great priority to save the planet after all. As sales of electric cars plummet and financial service companies refuse to insure them, the eco-zealots are starting to panic. You can feel it. So what do they do? They start alarming everyone with scare stories about the future. Today we heard from some researchers in Italy and the Netherlands, and guess what they had to say? Yep, you guessed it, they've got some predictions for us. They reckon rising sea levels could, there's that word again, could cost the British economy more than £100 billion by the end of the century. They're predicting floods will cause catastrophic damage to some of Europe's coastal regions, and that it will all have a terrible effect on our gross domestic product. These latest doom mongers hail from a place called the Delft University of Technology, Hmm, I've never heard of it either. Uh, and they're really good at fortune-telling, apparently. Or are they? How many times have we been told the world is going to be underwater? Back in the 1980s, the UN, the United Nations International Panel on Climate Change, predicted that Canary Wharf would be underwater up to the 23rd floor by the turn of the century. That's the century we're in, this century. They got that massively wrong. As did Greta Thunberg when she foretold that the Earth would be extinct by 2023, just five years earlier, she had to delete the tweet from 2018. This latest crowd says, of course, that these projections assume global carbon emissions continue on a high trajectory, which, of course, is code for saying that's why we all need to start walking and cycling everywhere. Get this. Apparently, sea levels have risen by 20 whole centimetres since the beginning of the 20th century. So that's about, I think, that much, isn't it? Uh, about 1.666 centimetres a year, which is about that much. Better get the snorkel and flippers out. <laughs> 